Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Duggar and today we're going to talk about Edpuzzle. With so many of our students using video as a resource for both fun and for learning, we as educators can also take advantage of this as a tool for our instruction. Now Edpuzzle, it's a website that is free to register on and free to use. Now through Edpuzzle, you can use videos from platforms such as YouTube as a way of engaging and assessing your student understandings. You can even set it that your students aren't able to skip around the video. Go ahead, try it. Hit one of the buttons. It's not gonna let you. You can also make it that if a student clicks off this browser tab, the video will stop playing. Go ahead, try it too. It's a great way to make sure that they watch the entire video. Let's talk about questions. Let's try a practice question. This time we're gonna go for a retail question. Uh, what if I was to tell you um, the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, but the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Of course it was the rain. Let's try one that's a bit more sophisticated. Yep, that's right. The message is don't give up, persevere. Now these multiple choice questions are really cool because once you set the correct answer, Edpuzzle will automatically grade it for you. But you can also try more of an open-ended question. One kind of like this. Well, that type of question, you're going to have to grade it. It'll collect the answer, but since there's no automatic correct answer set, since it is open-ended, the teacher will have to grade it and assign a numeric grade or whatever you choose to do. Hey, I, I was just trying to come up with a more sophisticated open-ended question. Now, there's also something you can do called a voiceover. A voiceover replaces the audio from all or part of a video clip. It keeps the video as is. And you can choose to say whatever you want on top of it for any length of time. I can't believe you... Oh, I'm back. I can't believe you put a voiceover on me. This is ridiculous. One thing you can also do with a video is you can trim it. That means you can cut off a portion of the beginning or cut off a portion of the ending. You can also cut a video in half and trim those par portions to whatever you want. I mean, whatever part of a video that lends itself to your instruction, you are able to use and then assign questions to it or notes or voiceovers. Well, in any case, those are a few things you can do with a video through Edpuzzle, and I hope that you find it useful, and best of luck to you out there. Thanks for watching.